All right, welcome back to Disco Elysium. It's been a hell of a long time since I played this last. I think it was since December. But I'm back. I'm back! Uh, lots been going on. That's why I haven't been doing any recordings. I've also been kind of addicted to it. Escape from Tarkov for the last few months. So that's been whatever. That's been taking a ton of my time. Uh, but in the last episode, we were going to talk to this lady here. And we were also going to talk to Evart. Ev Ev How did I say it? Evart? Evart? But, I was also thinking, oh that's interesting, shines right through, I was also thinking about playing Darkwood, I don't know, I've had that in my Steam library for a long time, maybe I should just do some backlogs, and just record those, but, right now, we... Need to. Oh, Kim's gone right now, so we can't do that. Um, I don't know what this payphone does. I don't. I don't remember if we used it already or not. But in the backyard wall. Oh, that was the painting we have to make. Oh God. Okay, let's get this flashlight out of here. Actually, and just walk up to this lady with a pair of bolt cutters. Give me a moment. Uh, cleaning lady says is, is, seems to be having difficulty breathing. A few questions about the apartments. Okay. Uh, do you know who lived in the foreclosed apartment? So I am going to go through these apartments again and then cut back to her just so I can get my head around all of this. Okay. Give me a moment. <sighs> Do you know who lived in the foreclosed apartment? The hell am I supposed to know? The cleaning lady shrugs, her mouth puckered like a dried fig. Another nut job, I assume. Oof. Why is there a hole in the wall in the abandoned apartment? Some lunatic lost his mind. All kinds of morons pass through these halls. Uh, is one of the residents on vacation? Their mailbox is overflowing. People come and go. I don't keep an eye on everyone. They probably just moved. Or died. Hopefully somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Um, who lives behind the padlock door? Oh, that one is a scientist. A future scholar. Suddenly the old lady's face is beaming. Huh. I think he studies astrology at the community college. Education's good. I always tell them to. Uh, I always tell them to study astrology. Something to do with all those stars around his door. He asked me to leave his drawings up on the wall. You mean the star and antlers? I think that's the symbol of communism. Sure, you don't mean astronomy? That's what I said. Astrology. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I do remember that <laughs> that we did go through there. The symbol of what now? Uh, the World Revolution. The ones who support the working class against capital. It's an ideology. It has some noble aims, but it's also been used. To, uh, it's for loons who have no idea how economy <laughs> works. It's a symbol of, for contributing to the demise of our noble state in the name of some made-up world of equality. I'll be nice to her because she is an old lady, so. Ones who support the working class against capital. Huh, the cleaning lady says. I thought Rivashaw was the capital. <laughs> okay, who lives in apartment 10? No one lives there. It's been empty for months. But I talked to someone through the door. Impossible, the cleaning lady says, shaking her head. I would know if someone had moved in there, she pauses, eyeing the hallway. Maybe it's those counterculture people again. Breaking into our house leads public space. You're a policeman. Be good and take a look, will you? Let's see what I can find.
How is this on? I remember there's a lady in high heels or something walking through here. Uh, this apartment is supposed to be empty. Did you break in here? Excuse me? Of course not. You have plenty of reason to enter. Uh, are you cooking morphine in there? <laughs> then open the door so I can verify your identity. I don't need a warrant if I suspect there's been a break in. Open the door so I can verify your identity. Oh, come on. There's a pause before you hear the door being unlocked. Whoops. <laughs> it's shitty. Yeah. Give me free stuff. Black monk straps. One to indirect modes of taxation. Is that our think box? Do we have it? We do. Uh... Ultra liberal dialogue options give plus one real. Oh, so that'll give us one extra dollar when we do ultra liberal options, which to be honest, I'm Looks like a fine mattress. Blister pack of medicine peeks out of the box. You should take it. Thanks for the free stuff. Hypno gamma. Oh. Oh my god, ma'am. Satisfied? My name is Mary, uh, Marielle Charpentier. Is that French for carpenter? I'm not actually sure. Charpentier. And I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. I'm not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. The key, see? She jingles a set of keys in her hand. Boy, there are a lot of different keys here. More than 20. Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit too? She fumbles through her purse, fishing out a light paper-clad passport. Inspect the passport. Feels flimsy in hand, with the words Revachal Zone of Control written under a nondescript municipal logo. There's a picture of her with shorter hair inside, along with all their personal details. Nice haircut. <laughs> Thank you. She slips the passport back in the purse. Do you have any questions? I need to be back in Midtown in an hour. Um, what are you doing here? She sighs and looks around. I need to get it ready for the next lease. But as you can see, the previous tenant completely trashed the place. Uh, I fuck shit up, too. <laughs> uh, reprehensible. Who lived here? It was some kind of a mor uh, morbid old man who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. She stops hesitating. Uh, sudden serious look crosses her face. The story didn't have a happy ending. But that was months ago. Anyway, was there anything you wanted, or is that it? I'm in a hurry. Who lived in the foreclosed apartment down the hall? Oh, that's another <laughs> huge mess. Yeah, there's a bit of a hole in the wall. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. Three. We closed the apartment and planned, for, uh, planned on auctioning off the valuables, but... And again, I have, no, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like, like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came close to the door, didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall. Can you believe it? She spreads her hands. And then the tenant ran off with his stuff. He's gone. The money's gone. Just like that. The sum must have been puny. Uh... <laughs> My money has also disappeared, I think. Yeah, pretty much. I can't even pay the friggin' hostel. Couldn't have been that much money. These apartments look pretty shabby. My money also disappeared. Well, it does not disappear from my hands. No, I don't let it. Uh, these apartments look pretty shabby. These apartments are perfectly fine. They have gorgeous architecture, a million real view of the bay, good ventilation, neighbors, life, spark... And they are affordable. I'll tell you, Martin Ace has a future. In a few years, it's going to blossom with artists and creatives and those radio computer wizards. So what happened with the wall? Don't ask me what happened with the wall. I have no idea how we're going to find the time of resources to fix it. Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. She's still shaking her head. Manicured hands now crossed over her chest. Thank you. Of course, she replies with a smile. But her eyes remain glazed over. She's been waiting for you to leave. Hmm. So that one got finished, right? Hmm. 
Or did that get updated? Okay, investigate apartment 10 for the cleaning lady. Okay. Give me a moment. I didn't find any counterculture people in apartment number 10. I was just a real estate agent setting up the room for new tenants. I see. She takes out her handkerchief and wipes her nose. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. Uh, no one is coming. There will be nothing but squalor unless we start killing real estate agents. <laughs> Lax women and sexual deviants. That's who will come. Oh, I'm sure everything will be fine. This apartment building needs slow change. Imperceptibly slow. Yeah, radio computer wizards are coming. They're going to save the place and the economy. A. Hey, there's my liberal answers. Oh, I should have put on the shoes. Oh, I do like wizards, she agrees wholeheartedly. And people like that in general. They have a lot to tell us about our fates. She means clairvoyance. Yeah. Cool. That's $1 closer to paying the rent. What is it? Like 75 bucks? Oh, I, it's only 20 Okay, we're fine then. Jeez. 75 was when we destroyed the place, I think. Um, find speed, find smokes. <laughs> oh, God. Let's... I think the next place... Trying to think back, just what, this secret passage, I don't know how to get into that back door. Uh, after 2100... Which is 15. Okay, so we can actually, we have time to visit Everett before doing that. Lady driver. Is there something she wants to tell you or just have a present? Hmm. Yeah, we need to, Joyce knows something, so. Hangman's armor seems to be missing. Find out what happened to it. The kid throwing rocks at the corpse seems, uh, seems to be a good place to start. I thought we asked Kuno about... Maybe we didn't ask Kuno about the body. I really thought we did. I don't think Kuno is gonna... Uh, bright enough to know what the hell armor even is, so... But, might as well try. Let's zoom out. I actually really do miss the, playing this game. I still love the art style of this. Oh, the nice little mailbox. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna kick the mailbox. It's too nice to me. We already did that, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Shit, we need visual, visual calculus for that. See, instead of tire dragging? Okay, yeah. So that'll figure out where their vehicle drove off after the lynching. We've already done that. Yeah, we already did that. We've already been through there. That leads up top and around. Oh yeah, I need like a super pry bar, don't I, for this? I know, we already have that. Jeez! That scared me. Okay, yeah, we already did. Kuno, how are you doing? So you tried to kill Kuno's girl? What's up with that? You wanna talk about it? <laughs> but I didn't try to shoot her, I just aimed at her. Oh, I didn't... I didn't know there was any more about like any more conversation after I did that. Uh, sorry about that. I got carried away. Do this shit again, and Kuno's gonna climb in your room at night with a knife. He points towards whirling in rags and whispers, "Kuno knows where you sleep. The pig who fucked his window up. I'm gonna climb in through that balcony. Put a fucking knife in you. Yeah." I've been in your room. Ew! Kuno, stop! Kid raises his voice. But you and Kuno are good for now, pals. Shoot that shit at Kuno. Let's have jolly time. Okay. 
The determination in his voice leaves little room for doubt in his sincerity. He means every word. Needs to be taken seriously. Okay, let's. And you're back in business with the Kuno. Now what is it? Kuno is a merciful king. Kind to his wayward subjects. Thank you, Lord Kuno. Uh... I have very low empathy for people. Um, hey Kuno, got any speed? <laughs> um, let's see if he has anything to talk about the shack. Yeah, no. Uh, I have more questions about the crime scene. I was wondering about that trash container. Don't be wondering about Kuno's shit, pig. Someone might have stashed something in there. Maybe there's even a lead. Okay, enough about this, Kuno. Yeah. Someone might have stashed something in there. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Why the fuck are you telling this shit to Kuno? Okay. Uh. I want to discuss the body again. There are contusions all over his body. Did you do that? What the fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He grabs his head like it's suddenly hurting. He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. Um, I hate words too. Contusion is a bruise. I'm talking about the marks your stones left on the corpse. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? Let's go. Uh, uh, he lets go of his head, suddenly feeling better. This is a Kuno. This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. Where's the rest of his armor? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? That funk imp. Uh, that fuck imp had one thing majorly wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. Excuse me? Do you remember how he looked? Fucking growth hormone shit? He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. He drills his temples with his fingers in some strange aggressive gesture. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. What do you mean, threw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. Well, it's because he's a... Ma he's an adult male, Kuno. He performs a kickoff on the imaginary helmet. Kuno kicked the shit in the sea. Rugby style, that shit means nothing to Kuno. He threw it in the sea? Yeah, that shit means nothing. Dude, Kuno could have been... King Kuno could have been even more rich. That stuff was worth a lot. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. You wanna fuck on someone's... Uh, fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustached union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gates. You mean troubadour? Yeah, cock and boots. Oh, I know who you're talking about now. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Oh, yeah, the, um... Uh, Mr. Effortless. Um, came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. Yes, you met him at the gates, the one with the boots and the jolly smile. You mean Manana? Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Come in here pretending like he likes cows. <laughs> Trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? And you're just telling me this out of the kindness of your heart? Mm. Yeah, let's ask him that, because Drama knows something's up. He may, like, he might just be racist to Manana or something. Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Kuno day. Kuno feels sorry for you, loser pig. Kuno's doing pity now. Still seems su suspicious. He may have it in for that guy, yeah. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility. This is drama, so, you know. Okay. Do we have anything in our inventory? Got any speed? Okay. <laughs> Fucking right big. Kuna's filling bathtubs with that shit. Kuna's a kingpin. You're yanking my chain, aren't you, kid? Don't be yanking your shit in front of the Kuno. Kuno's always serious, always rolling. Big kilo. But you ain't getting any. Get the fuck off. Uh, be lying the act. He's actually telling the truth. Or at least point zero 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 one percent of it. He has a little speed. He's just not giving it to you. You need to befriend him first. Let's see if we got any... Uh, anything that gives empathy. I don't think we do. I don't think we're wearing anything that gives it either. 
How much drama do we have? We had... Jeez. We have five drama. And now I've got minus one off of items. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, we got nothing that gives. We have dr drugs that give empathy. Um, oh. Hmm. What else can we do with this? Ooh. Okay, maybe we should interact with these more. Jeez. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is there anything else we can do with this? Yeah, I should probably interact with these more. Um, these, uh... Read the note. Okay, this was on the ice bear fridge that we stashed the bot or that we had stashed the body in. Um... I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kept stealing stuff from the studio, so I died somewhere. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we couldn't get into that ice cream maker, right? Ooh, that's... Why does it keep scrolling up like that? Yeah, we really couldn't get into it. We need that super crow. That's what we needed the super crowbar for. Um, I don't know if we need to <laughs> beat up Measurehead after already joining his religion. Um, what's a filament memory? The note doesn't specify. Who's the illiterate ginger kid? Does note does not specify. <laughs> oh, you mean Kuno? Okay, cool. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Okay, cool. Free experience. So, let's see if we have anything that gives hand eye coordination. I don't think we have that either. Um, logic. Doo -doo -doo. Not reaction speed, but that's minus anyway. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff uh we didn't clicked on. Let's interact with the ledger, because we haven't before. It's a ledger you found in the trash. Pitiful cabbage uh cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. The sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Ew. Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? Nah, it's toilet paper. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Ew. It's a metaphor for you. Well, that's rude. What do you mean? <laughs> God, I love the inner monologue. Just... Uh, imagine how crazy this guy is. He's just... He's looking at it. He's like, oh, there's toilet paper on here. That's, that's me, you know? I'm just this... Toilet paper desperately sticking to the, this, like, uh, ignorantly pass through the 8,000 uh, sign that it's yours. What do you mean it's a... Oh, wait, whoops, I clicked the wrong one, but, but still. Find your paperwork. Okay, cool. This is your ledger. You're a cop, and it's your official ledger. It's filled out in your hand, and it stinks like you, too, and looks like you. Well, that's rude. Look how cool we are. Below the pathetic's terror. Do not look into its blue heart. Oh, no. Inspect the toilet paper. Well, luckily, it's just toilet paper. Uh, sticking to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. Hmm. It's cool way cool <laughs> it says everyone look at me and my toilet paper covered cop ledger i don't care my ledger is droopy and it smells like a urinal yeah like me inspect the clip 
An aluminum block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil. The tip worn down to nothing has been attached to the clip. Run your finger across it. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling, uh, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. What is this? To be honest, you have little to no idea. You're dumb. And alone. Oh. Somewhere, not here, the helpful Lieutenant Kim, uh, Kim Kitsuragi is making notes in his blue notebook. He tilts it ever so slightly. A glowing rectangle catches the light. He could advise you with this the next moment. Cool. Bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand. It's a sorry sight. Browse the white papers. They're not exactly white. Yeah, they're probably covered in a bit of piss. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is uh, checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Case files, commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. We were organized at one point? I... Look at this. I don't know what's going on. There's so many tasks. How could we be organized? What is in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the jam rock quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51. This year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, maybe 30 cases. Undertaken, not completed. Mind you. Yeah. It's the middle of March. You've attempted two cases a week on average. What do you mean? Is that all? That's it? <laughs> the notebook is annual. It says 51 on what remains of its covered. Uh, cover. A molten strap of cardboard. Everything prior to this must have belonged to a previous volume. In short, there were more. Two new cases a week? A little? A lot? You have no idea. This all depends. Does it? Feels like a lot. Or even more than a lot. It feels like too much, right? That's probably why we're an alcoholic and a drug addict. There's a mention of a naming convention. Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. A title, one might say, even. One that draws inspiration from Snoop Fiction and Vespertine Cop Show staples. Oh my, and they're written in capital letters, too. Yes, all caps. One is called The Next World Mural. <laughs> Another, The Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another, yet, The Unsolvable Case. <laughs> Others appear more lighthearted. The guy's on a couch in an unexpected location, and the murder at the hookah parlor. Even the rare article, Free Collapsing Tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done later, once you're done inspecting them up close. Can I read the case files now? <laughs> you don't exactly close them, so much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. The little, they're a little further from your nose now. Okay, thank you. Browse the case files again. Arson, petty theft, disposal abuse, handwritten logs on dozens of investigations date back to January 51. Stamped case files, commit to paper. These are your last couple of months in Revishall, Precinct 41, Jamrock. Okay. Browse the yellow papers. In the back, you see thin, translucent copier paper, some neon yellow, some bright red, all covered in boxes like marching armies. These look like official forms waiting to be filled out. None of them are filled out. Then rip them from your binder and hand them out according to, uh, to type of form. Types of forms. Three. The topmost are uh, misconduct fines, the middle ones are station calls, and the bottom most are field autopsy forms. Each is easily en easy enough to make sense of. Oh, we could have used our own field autopsy form if we had found that in the dumpster first. You don't have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. Misconduct fine. Monetary penalization ranging from 20 to 250 ri real. <gasps> Ooh. Can we charge Kuno for misconduct? Oh man, get free money? 
Severe cases allow for a thousand real. Oh, we wouldn't have to pay the hostel for like we wouldn't have to worry about that. But that requires special paperwork. Damn. These details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. Station call. These are quite sinister in tone. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified pre precinct police station. Below the call or the criminal charges, you risk uh, by not appearing. Field autopsy. A dozen pages of thin copy paper, bright red in color. You see the parameters of a deceased human form waiting to be filled in. Age, sex, condition of internal organs. Yeah. Uh, all that remains now is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines for wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies for to dead guys. Ooh. Ah, oh, we didn't need it, though. What delicious power hid within this pathetic mess. You feel better. The rest of the stinking cellulose is much worse for wear, for wear. Being sandwiched between the board and the rest of the paperwork must have spared the fragile copier paper. Look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic. Hard enough to beat someone to submission with. Ooh, Kuno, come here. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 sized board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see an embossed letters RCM. What did you say the color was? Blue. The blue heart. Don't look into it. Hmm. Shake it. Something rattles inside ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment? Permeables. It's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for uh, permeable materials that would get damaged if something happened to it. Peek inside. Plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it's not see-through. You cannot see to its center. How would I open it? Ooh, interfacing, yeah. With your hands, you four size pages hang from the clip screwed to the top of the board. Damn, 58. We do have that uh, the gloves on that give us interfacing, though, but let's smell it. The article stench of... I mean, maybe I, they were the acidic stench, uh, but maybe we shouldn't have in case that, like, ruined our chances of doing that, but the acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It's now formed forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by the faint air of spoiled meat, the stuff of death itself, and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. Mmm. Meaty toilet pa uh, toilet cleaner. Uh, we have stuff that gives us logic. We get that. We get that. What was the other one we need? Interfacing? I think it's just these gloves. And we have that... S we have a... Uh, that thought that reduces it. How many thoughts can we have? We have three more. Oh no, they're just unlockable. Okay, so we got none. <sighs> Fuck, I really... I really like that. Can't even look at this shit. Um... Oh. What does this do? Minus one encyclopedia, but all into like learning caps raised by one. Plus one EXP for every orb click. That's not that bad. Unliber ultra liberal dial. Oh yeah. All endurance white checks unlocked. Actually, we can learning cap for endurance. Our endurance was only two though, so. I need to find something that gives us endurance so that, or like that requires endurance, but speed gives one psyche, but learning cap for perception raised to five. Didn't it say we had minus one interfacing because of lo Lonesome Long Way Home? I swear it did. Lonesome long way home. I don't know why that makes our interfacing bad. Because it doesn't say... I guess that's just a sub thing. It's not actually the a negative from this, but it only has to deal with that ledger. Um... Plus one pain threshold. All psyche learning caps raised raised by one. That's actually pretty good. Why 
minus one authority, minus two to logic. God, I don't know what any of these are gonna do. I guess uh, at some point we can just go through all of these and then you can forget, right? Or does that require a point? Yeah, that requires a point to forget, jeez. Doesn't take a point to internalize though, so I guess that's not that that's not too bad, but yeah, our logic's so high. Thank you. Yes, you can piece them together using an alphanumeric code on the margin. It's always always begins with HDB forty one, then date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB forty one one two oh one seventeen hundred. The next world mural. Hey, what is HDB 41? 41 is your precinct. Yeah, but what's HDB? It's safe to say that those are the initials of the officer responsible for your case. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Harry Dubois, yeah. Still feels like there's something missing from that. Oh, yeah, I know. Wait, what? Why is it not RAC? We are Ra Raphael Ambrosius Custo. Uh, I don't want to give up on Raphael. Should we give up on Raph? No, we can't give up on Raphael. That's who we are. Look, look, logic. Just because I don't want to actually be logical. I want to be Raphael. Can't you see the sire is tired of these fabrications? RAC is clearly what it says on the case files. These are official documents. There's no arguing with official documents. Hmm. Kim doesn't believe us. Did we? Did we tell? <laughs> did we? Did we actually tell Everett that we were Raphael as well? I don't remember if we did. I think that would have been a bit too much. You know what? <sighs> I'm sorry, Raphael. I'm gonna have to leave leave this part of my life behind me. That's comforting to hear. Now, sorry, it's, sorry, drama, but. We gotta go with logic, I guess. That's comforting to hear. Now, detective, it takes half an hour to piece one of these together. If you still want to, here are your options. A couch in an unexpected location. Sorry, bullet hole murders. Uh, maybe I should have waited on that. This is just for passing time, right? We might get experience from it, though. It'd be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean. There seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks, on her rocking chair, with a square hole in her skull, staring at the wall, her mouth agape. But that's all you got. From the half hour you spent piecing it together, all you know is the entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet, and then another body showed up, also with the square hole in his forehead. Sequence killer? Those pages are missing. What next? Don't worry. One day. Yeah, I don't know if we want to blow through two hours. Um, we might as well try this. We do have a... Good. Good, good, good. Hmm. The two sides of the board appear slightly misaligned, like a drawer that's come off its slides. If you bend the plastic on your knee slowly, the sides snap back into place. It should be possible to just, you know... Wait, somehow I don't want to. What are you waiting for? Just... That's because you know where this leads to. Ah, oh, there's drugs in there, isn't there? Slide it open. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. What's inside? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Ooh. Oh. Pick up the ticket stubs. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in a colored pencil drawings. The tickets uh, permit access to the zoo in Revachal East. The aquarium costs extra. These let uh, these let you go there too. Uh, should we do this one? No, we shouldn't. I don't want to hurt ourselves. Our character is going to take. 
damage, so from doing this, pick up the card. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. Smell it first. It smells of chewing gum, apricot, a touch of cinnamon, the end of summer. You think the label says tutti frutti. Open it. Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card, looped around letters in a woman's hand. A young woman in her 20s. There's care, effort, and a smile, you think, although that is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Throw it away, please. But it will make me happy. A merciful wind blows in from the Bay of Rebishal, dusting the ground at your feet and raising newspapers far away. You feel the card slipping into it. What was that? Frishing covers your entire body, a feeling of cold, a persistent chill. Hold on to it. Read the card. Your hands shake holding on to it. Oh god, did our screen get a bit darker? Or is that because it's getting night? Your hands shake holding on to it. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled me entirely. I step on the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon, when I get off the 49 and walk back to you. Keep reading. You, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me mu or makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I would always, always, always come back to it. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. Are we gonna pass out you feel the ledger slip from your hand hold on to what there's nothing damn did we just die did we just die nothing. No! Again. Are we gonna wake up the next day? Oh, damn. Nothing. Nothing said, brother. No treachery. Just blackout. Well, almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that's that? me. Blue eyes. That's me. Who was Who that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. I'm cool. The cool. When you're dead, brava. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Because it's always there. Where's Voyager Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Poor. So my name appears to be Harry. Your name is Fuck All. It certainly ain't Harry. And what is Your it? Your name is Passed Out on the Ground, tracked around by one of the other evil apes. They're taking you somewhere. Is it Kim? Or is the X something? The Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape, its lack of beauty was not the problem. Just lie there emotionless. You think they would let you until you disintegrate into biomolecule? No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. 
What is that? It's yes, cold. Yes, they're pouring something on you. Something in you. And it's... Water? It's delicious. Glowing lights on the dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Is it when... Oh, Kim's back? Where am I? In the upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket, the air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink water. The lieutenant is extending a small canister to your mouth. Drink. Mm. The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes, the darkness parts. Drink, he tilts the canister. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of it spills on the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? I should ask you the same. There was a call in the shortwave. Officer passed out in Martinez. He froze his brow. I had a feeling it would be you. I'm glad I got out here in time. How long was I out? I don't know. It could have been quite a while. He looks you in the eyes of expecting your mental state. It's only day two, so it's only been like an hour, uh, not even an hour. I came in contact with the burnt out ruins of the past, Lieutenant. That does sometimes happen. He hands you the remnant remains of your ledger. Ooh, good. Ledger of failure and hatred. I found this next to you. He pauses. I'll tag along for the rest of the day if you don't mind. My business is concluded anyway. Are you okay to go? Just nod. Good. The ledger of failure and hatred is a special item that can be used both as an interactable and a tool equipped in your hands for skill bonuses. Find it under the tools. Cool. The afternoon sun shimmers off the white on blue police livery in the motor carriage. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? Wasn't I supposed to do something important? Something murder related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. Oh, thanks, Interface. I... Even at a standstill, the unibody Kupri Kinema looks sleek and dynamic. The cabin is tilted frontward to give it a more aggressive, hunched look. Someone has waxed it recently. I don't like your machine, Lieutenant. It looks impractical. Mode of care, mode of <laughs> the machine looks real. <laughs> that machine really puts the loco back in locomotion. Very cool. Mm -hmm. The lieutenant smiles ever so slightly. You want to take a closer look? Oh, yes. What's it pack in there? Point to the engine. 130. Mama's serving some serious macaroni. You lost me there. He's looking at you perplexed. 130 kilowatts is a lot of power, Kim. Kinema is fast. Feels right at home on a raised motor track. Hard to find something that could overtake it. Fine machine. Yes, there's gentleness in the lieutenant's voice and his eyes run over the vehicle contours. An extraordinary machine. It's nice and all, but why so modest? Put some zing in it. Flare it up. Slam it down. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. Ever thought about switching to helium headlights? Actually, I have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring for the ballasts first. If we ever get this case solved, maybe we can do it together? Maybe. He replies with an apologetic smile and nods. Yes, definitely maybe. Alright, let's move on. White morning. You see yourself from above. You're passed out on the blue tiles of the hostel room floor. Even from the distance, you can see your eyelids flutter at the mention of what? Great white object, letting out its sweet smell, like, li like a lily of the valley. The little man's forgotten its name, but he still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves. The feeling animates him. He instinctively reaches out for the feeling's best friend, bottle of Commodore Red. He puts on his disco clothes and gets smaller and smaller. Hmm...
So, let's see what this can do. Slide the hidden drawer open. Okay. So the card's still in there. Good, good. Okay, we don't want to do that. Look at these glasses I've got. Man, are cool. The Auditor. Uh... Minus one authority, though, so let's put these visual calculus ones back on. And then, uh, interact with this bullet. We have a similar rifle on hand, so let's try and find out what type of weapon shot this. Nice. Okay, good. Rifle. Revolutionary period. Your bullet looks like to be an old 446 from the surplus left over from the turn of the century. Probably an antique or a retrofitted antique. Make? 446 caliber was widely used with the Belma Grave rifle, which is the one we have. Rivachalian manufacturer. The BM de denominated the battlefields of the Insulindian Theater of the Anti Centennial Revolution 50 years ago. Incidentally, you have just such a rifle with you. The dusty old thing you found in the basement below the commercial area. It's, us uh, it's unusable, sadly. If it were, the bullet would probably fit the chamber. Is anyone still making these? No, but Zeliger. Major firearm manuf manufacturer ended up with a surplus over after the war. So there's still a lot of these old military rifles floating around, usually broken. Quality was appalling. Who uses them? Antique enthusiasts, guerrilla fighters in distant countries, few lucky jamrock bangers. You're looking for the same thing you found in that hidden weapons cache, only in working order. Hmm. Lieutenant jot something down in his notebook. What are you thinking? Bullet? I think I know where this came from. Okay, and? Shot probably came from a Belmagrave rifle. An antique. That makes sense. Can't be many breech-loading rifles floating around in Martinez or anywhere in Rivachal, really. Why not? Sure, there's some arms trafficking, but the laws prohibiting the use of breech-loaders was inherited from the monarchy have been efficient from what I've seen. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle loaders once they've trained with a military grade weapons, but they realize it's worth it in the end. <laughs> worth what? Getting shot? Imagine if everyone, cop citizens, had access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds without pausing to reload. After the first shot, the second, third, and so on. Come much easier. Go back to the investigation. Uh. Have well-armed jamrock bangers started crossing over into Martinez? Let's find out. Next step, finding the gun itself. Cool. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um... I think that's actually good enough for today because we got so we got the man over here the man on the balcony we got we got another level up we got a lot of skill points actually before we go I'm gonna try my electrochemistry is quite bad I think three we got stuff that increases that. So we can go to this mirror and do that. Let's do that, actually. Riva Show. It's a bowl. There's spit in it, reeking of tobacco. Ew. Oh, there's more stuff here. We get one XP for each of these. Photos of men in overalls. Toting guns and union placards. Say hi to your mama for me. That's rude. Is this the guy that just is just hanging out? It's all about the money, you know. Yeah. We don't have anything to say to her, do we? Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. Okay, cool. Um, we could pay Gart right now. Can I help you? Use your trash container key. Thanks, I hope you found what you were looking for. 
Just trash. As it should be. Anyway, thanks for returning my key. I don't really want to drink. That does reduce our... Uh, is it Psyche? Intellect. Actually, it, it, it reduces all our mental skills, I think. But my bill for tonight. Got the 20 real? Yeah, we might as well. I have this giant novelty check. <laughs> this again, he stares. You just won't let it go, will you? Real funny. But this establishment only takes cash. Now, do you have that cash, Mr. Novelty Check Man? <laughs> Free, near the gates. They'll exchange it, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just take the check? Good, you got the room for the night, but remember, you need another 20 real tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I think I know how money works. I'm thinking we should um, find something that uh, something that requires endurance, but I don't think we have anything that does. We maybe just put one point into endurance so we don't instantly die from something. We've already turned the light on. Time to go to the mirror. Oh, God. We could also increase our interfacing right now. Attempt to stop this expression from happening. Well, let me put on those and that I think that's it Ooh. pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hands into makes you look cool calm and collected as your hand enters the pockets your fingers brush against something soft yet crinkly take it out it's chewing gum wrapper. reminds you of a fruity juice of apricots you should inspect it closer if you have time Ooh, these are our pants Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. Yikes, is that going to make us... Hmm. Are these our pants? Because it's the same gum that the uh, ledger, or that that note had. Ooh, Inland Empire Empathy, minus two authority. Nice. Okay, let's try this. 42%, but... I really don't want to increase our electrochemistry, but I might have to. I will increase our uh, interfacing, though. There's no problem with that. Interfacing's nice. Oops. Let's try that again. 42%. But we have... I think we can hit 50 with these. 58. Nice. Good. The faucet is quite terribly mangled, but you might just be able to twist its parts into place. Handle the chain cutters deftly, applying just enough pressure. The faucet regains its recognizable shape. The steam stops. Uh, I told you that you needed those chain cutters. Everything's connected. Everything has purpose. The mirror begins to clear slowly without you having to wipe it. We'll put these back. Oops, those back on. Put that those on. Oh wait, both our pants are the same anyway. Should we drink before? We'll drink before. Can I do that? There we go. Fizzy grazed. Eighty-three percent. Let's do it. Come on. Yes. It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the leer that has distorted it for God knows how long. Just like that, it's over. The running gag that your life had become. A sad old man looks back at you. Oof. That's not good. <laughs> that, well, that wasn't worth it. That feels bad. 
damn. <laughs> I thought we'd get experience for that mirror. Instead of just being sad now. Okay, but that's gonna end this one here. We definitely have to talk to Everett next episode. Or Joyce, but she's got damn hard friggin' checks. Um, all of these are like super difficult. But we can do that map wall that's in the bookstore. We have one to do with Kim. And we just... Uh, maybe I should have done the punch clock and then raised interfacing and come back to the mirror. But that's okay. Morel is across the... So that's on Wednesday. Joyce is being a jerk. And we got to talk to Manana. Do I have to internalize the race enigma? Maybe I'll do that as well, but it, I think it gives us minus two logic. About that one. Advanced race theory. Minus one drama. Actually, that's fine. I, our drama is super high, and I don't like it anyway. <laughs> okay, that's going to do it for that one, though. See ya.